Morning, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out today. My name is Tony Grelli, and I'm a founding partner of Velocity Venture Partners, along with Zach Moore behind me. And on behalf of Velocity, I want to thank you all for coming out today to celebrate this momentous occasion where we have the opportunity to witness firsthand the renaissance of American manufacturing right here in Pensacola, New Jersey. We are honored to have with us here today the following representatives from Pensacola Township. Mayor Jessica Rahef? Rafe. Rafe, sorry. <laughs> Deputy Mayor Nikki Roberts, Committeeman Vincent Martinez, and Committeeman Marco Di Battista. Additionally, we're joined here by our partners at 9000 River Road, Charles McAvoy, Western Extrusions, Max Gorman, President, New Jersey Division of Western Extrusions, and all the way from Canada, the guys who've been mocking me all morning for saying it's cold, uh, we have Bob Peacock, CEO of Almeg Aluminum, and uh, Joe Jackman, President, Almeg Aluminum. Thank you so much for coming out this morning. Love to take a brief moment to share a synop synopsis of what brings us here this morning. Many of you know the name Aluminum Shapes. It's an iconic Pensalkin brand that started here in 1954 and grew to employ thousands of employees at this very complex at its peak in the 90s. Our relationship with the company began in 2019 when we purchased 8600 River Road, right down here, the former Esther, Esther Williams plant uh, from the company. Over the years, due to foreign competition uh, and Chinese ownership, the company shuttered uh, in 2021, about a year ago to the date. And this latest setback for the company presented us with a remarkable opportunity to grow our real estate in Pensacola. About a year ago, we bought this building right behind us, uh, and this acquisition made us the largest owner in Pensacola you know, of industrial real estate with about a million and a half square feet. And knowing the great responsibility that that carries, we were fortunate enough throughout the acquisition process to be introduced to Western Extrusions out of Carrollton, Texas, right outside of Dallas, who is the largest uh, privately held aluminum extruder in America. Additionally, we were introduced to Almeg Aluminum, uh, which is one of the largest privately held extruders in Canada. And the Velocity team realized very quickly in our meetings with Almeg and Western that we had an incredible opportunity to revitalize this complex with two best-in-class aluminum extruders in North America versus scraping the site and redeveloping it as a big box warehouse, which was a game plan of many of our competitors throughout the acquisition process. We decided to capitalize on the building's history and irreplaceable infrastructure and put these folks in there to resume operations. Turn the page on the complex by resuming aluminum extrusion, bring back American manufacturing jobs, and increase aluminum production and capacity right here in the United States of America. Of course, this journey took a tremendous effort all around, and none of it would be possible without our partners who assembled to make this a reality. I want to take a moment and recognize first and foremost everyone from Pensalkin who came together to make this happen, including the Pensalkin Planning Commission. Where's Frank? Thank you very much to Frank and the rest of the team, and all the consultants that assisted us, Western and Almeg, in fast-tracking the reoccupancy of this building. Additionally, on our end, I want to thank all of our consultants, who include Dembo, Brown & Burns, Claire Harrison, Stoughton Caldwell Engineers, Binz Wanger, and Compliance Management International for the guidance and expertise. These firms assisted us in navigating a series of complex issues from a legal, environmental, and regulatory standpoint, and were integral to the successful releasing and restarting of plant operations. Thank you as well to the Velocity team, particularly John Fiore, John Ali, Greg Birnbaum, Ben Hudson, Josh Kelmer, and Mark Hock and Joe's for making all this happen. Again, I wish to extend my sincere appreciation and gratitude for all that made today possible. It's an exciting new chapter for everyone involved. 
and I'm now pleased to introduce the mayor of Pensacola, Mayor Jessica Rafe. Good morning. It is a cold morning this morning. I'm like, I'm not going to need a jacket. That sun is deceiving, I'll tell you that much. Um, on behalf of Township Committee, I'm so excited to welcome Velocity Ventures, Western Extrusions, and Almag to Pensacan. This facility has great historical significance to our community and was a giant in the industry of metal shaping and production for decades. At one time, it was the largest manufacturer in the country, and the property remains the largest industrial landlord in our town. As we have watched this project take shape over the last 10 months, we have collectively been ecstatic to see the property revived, especially knowing the jobs and economy that will be generated from Velocity's business concept. Having the ability to adapt to an ever-changing business and real estate climate is imperative to success. Doing so in an attractive way that appeals to international companies is directly in line with the vision we have for our future in Pensacan. It is also incredibly impressive to welcome magnets like Western and Almac to our business and industrial community. You are joining the ranks of equally notable and global companies like Scrub Daddy, Parados, and Barry Calibut, who have chosen to make Pensacan their home. The township has had the unique opportunity to develop a reciprocal relationship with our industry leaders to maintain open lines of communication between government and business. And we know that together we can do amazing things. Our team is so energized by the booming business community that has taken root in Pensacan, and we anticipate and seeing big things coming from the Velocity Project. Congratulations on the reopening of this property, and we wish you great success as we move forward together. Welcome to Pensacan. Good morning, everybody. Um, as my partner said, my name is Zach Moore, and wanted to step up to uh, introduce a couple special guests today, as referenced by my partner. Uh, the first is the chairman of Western Extrusions, um, Charles McAvoy. We'd love to welcome you to make a few remarks. Thank you. Western is grateful, <laughs> grateful to Mayor Ruff and her team, the Pensacan Township, and the Velocity Ventures Partnership for working tirelessly to bring us to New Jersey. Western is committed to domestic manufacturing and we pride ourselves on being customer and employee focused. This production facility will allow us to help supply our domestic customers more quickly and simply. We supply, you see the trailer, trailer over there, we, we supply extrusions for these trailers and they're in that rack that is flooring for a truck trailer over there the two shapes that are sitting beside that rack are for solar panels we also produce uh, parts for electrical vehicles in fact most Teslas most Teslas you'll see have at least one part that's extruded by Western in it We've also been really thrilled to add 60 or 70 new jobs to the Pensalkin community, and we have plans for another 30 or 40 in the next few months. Our vision is to be the supplier of choice for aluminum extrusion products and services for our customers. Mission is to safely produce quality extrusions. Safety is extremely important to us and is much more important than profits in the short run. Safety is probably the most important thing we'll do and in the long run is also very profitable. 
We're excited to be part of the growth of Velocity and the Pensalkin community and the revitalization of 9000 River Road. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'd now like to welcome Bob Peacock of Almeg Aluminum. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. And I uh, want to start by apologizing for bringing this cold weather from Canada. Um, I'm, you know what, I'm really excited to be here today and excited to begin production in this beautiful building again. Almost a year ago, we came and we saw great potential, but lots needed to be done. Tony, John, and their team at Velocity Ventures have been great to work with, and we look forward to a very long partnership here with them. I know that the local community, Pensacan, has been very supportive of our combined efforts to breathe new life into this facility. Thank you very much to all of them for that. Now many have wondered how two aluminum extrusion companies will be able to share a facility side by side. We've wondered that too, and I'm sure at times Western has as well. But there are many companies that we would not do this with. But Western is on the very short list of people we are happy to partner with. While we serve different markets and we produce very different products, I believe our philosophies and our cultures overlap a lot. We're taking our time to clean, clean up the equipment and get it in good, safe working order. And I'm, I'm happy that Charles emphasized the importance of safety because it is critical to a successful business. So we're taking our time to get the equipment cleaned up and in good, safe working order so that when we get into full production, uh, which I hope will be soon, uh, we can and make we can make thin-walled, tight tolerance profiles here in Pensacan that we can pr provide to customers throughout the United States. I invite you to come inside to see what we have. Without the help and support of many of you here today, this would not be possible. For that, I say thank you very much, and I look forward to Pensacan being Almeg's new home, away from home in America. Thank you very much. Um, and with that, we'd love to uh, kick off the remainder of the morning with the official ribbon cutting. Um, and following that, we have light refreshments here. Uh, for everybody to enjoy, and I think what personally is our favorite, a tour of the operation in door 13. Um, you can follow the steps there up the yellow walkway and see some pretty incredible things that what are happening here. But on behalf of all of Velocity, we can't thank you enough for joining us. It's been a tremendous honor, uh, speaking on behalf of the entire firm, to be part of this project, and we couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to do business in Pensalkin. Thank you, and thank you for joining us.